hi guys welcome back to my channel this is june here for those who don't know me um today i'll be doing a new video but before that if you've not watched my previous video please go back and watch it and today i'll be talking about my weight gain journey which most of you have been requesting about it and here it is <laughs> so guys i'll start off by telling you ever since i was small i was really plump really 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 plump because you guys knew me like after high school when that time was kind of slender not really slender but kind of so when i was small i used to have layered necks and a big tummy and a round face you just know how a fat kid looks like yeah that's how i used to look like so um when i was in class four my mom um took me to a boarding school in nakuru and the first term didn't go well so when i went back home um i went back when i was really slender my mom even thought I was dying or something of the sort. So I was really slender. So she removed me from the body and took me to a day school. And from the day school, I regained back my body. And I was, okay, not really fat as used to be, but I was kind of plump. Then, class six, I was taken back to body. Um, I went back to the same small body again, but it wasn't really small. So I went on with the body through primary, high school, I went now to medium because I used to really eat in school. Um, so I went to a medium body, not fat, not thin, so I was just there. So after high school, we, we stayed in Nakuru, but after high school, we first moved back to Nairobi for some time before I joined um, the university. I joined the university in 2016, last September. So my mom went out of the country in 2018, February. So the whole of the fair 2018, I was alone in Kenya. Okay, not alone, me and my then boyfriend. So um, I, I used to love modeling. Even in high school, I used to model. So after high school is when I wanted to take the modeling career seriously. Most people have this mentality that models really have to have small bodies. Like I never used to know about plus size models or even though I knew about it, I wouldn't really want to be part of a plus size model because most of the attention is taken to the really small models. So I used to want to maintain that really small body of which I, I didn't have the small body by then. But now I wanted to have it. So I used to have like a diet, like have only one meal a day. So I could have heavy breakfast and not eat the whole day or have just a normal breakfast, no lunch and small dinner. Till now I got really thin, like you could see, you know, these troughs on your neck, like it's so deep inside as if you're going to die. My ribs could be seen even from here everything if my neck was so thin my i was dying my head was bigger than anybody but okay that time i was still waiting for a fashion show not a pageant but a fashion show so i was like okay in takula but i never took it seriously i just wanted to be done with that fashion show then maybe i can start eating or something if i change my mind so um i did the fashion show it ended it ended around may so that is 2018 not 2017 so um the show ended um and now you know during may we're in long holiday still september so there's nothing left for you to do just to stay at home or if you have a job you can do the job but me i didn't have a job so my wife was just staying at home and my mom told me what tebukula so i told my then boyfriend if my mom has told me i'm really thin i need to start eating so you know you can't okay you can't just start shooting eating or whatever but that time whatever made me start eating is like um during that long holiday there's usually not much of modeling gigs so it makes me just stay in the house because i don't have anything else to do so anything i could think of is eat and watch tv eat watch tv not work out or walk or just eat and watch tv eat watch tv so when i told him like hey eh, my mom said i have to eat they're like okay we we'll start eating so we said, breakfast was like heavy lunch was heavy dinner heavy so breakfast you could have like sausages and samosas 
lunch, chicken or pizza, dinner. Okay, dinner probably just normal food, normal normal food, but a lot. So I started seeing changes in my body's like after like five to six months. The changes I noticed them when my clothes were not fitting me. Like you can see, my favorite clothes is pressing me on my stomach or couldn't go up. Dresses that used to to be baggy now they're all filled up. Then my face that has been round again. So that's when I knew um, I was gaining weight. And once you have the appetite, I never used to have appetite. Now when I started eating too much, now my appetite became really high. So I could feel hungry every time, every time. Like I eat now, it stays like. 30 minutes or an hour, I feel hungry again. So I eat, I eat, I eat, I eat, I eat, I eat. So um, I maintained that body because, okay, that body was unexpected. I just got it because of lazing around and eating too much, but I never expected to have such a body. But when I got it, I loved it and I wanted to maintain it. So I still maintain it, continued eating, continued eating um, till I got to this body but this body still has a disadvantage because because the method i used of gaining weight um has a, its own disadvantage because when you have too much junk some fats are stored in unwanted areas like the tummy i have a really big tummy <laughs> <laughs> I have a really big tummy. I used to have a flat one. You know, when I had the flat tummy, I went for a belly piercing. Yeah, so you can walk around with the crop tops and everything. My tummy is becoming bigger. The belly piercing is becoming painful. So adding weight made me lose my belly piercing. Um, adding weight also, uh, due to the tummy, there's some outfits which won't go well, really well, um, with that tummy. Even bikinis, that's why by the way, if you haven't noticed, my bikinis all of them it's either a monokini or a high waist because I'm really trying to hide the tummy. Oh, also, I didn't know it, uh, brought oh, what, stretch marks. Okay, there's nothing really bad with stretch marks, but it's kind of okay, it's not a bad thing, but I don't like them on me. But it's okay, I have them, but it's not really I like them. So I have stretch marks on the thighs and on the waist. And also, I wonder how comes the fats just went down and on the tummy, but couldn't go up here. <laughs> okay, so yeah, the fats went all the way down here, but they couldn't go up here. But it's okay, I understand, because my mom has now this body, this exact body. She has a really small upper part, and down here she's really hippy and fatty. So that's one thing that's gonna show you guys where I got my body from so most of you say that oh I'm using butt creams or butt injections or surgery to get or pills to get this body well you're really wrong because if I used all those okay how comes most some of the not even some most of the parts are going to the stomach because my my goal is targeting the ass and the pills say um, bigger ass or bigger boobs but they don't say bigger stomach but I still got the bigger stomach so your assumptions are just not making sense and as you can see I started gymming like last year in December to reduce the stomach and general fitness but not adding weight or losing weight just general fitness and mostly um, concentrate on the abs um, but I've not yet started doing any abs workouts because when I went to start the gym in, I was told that I have a weak back so I have to first work on the back then now I'll start working on the abs so if you guys don't see any change on the tummy it's that I'm not yet, I've not yet started working on my stomach I'm first working out working on the back then I go back and work on the stomach um, the advantage I got with having this body is mm. <laughs> I'm really happy I got this body because I used to well, I used to admire my mom's body very much because of the way she has an, an ass and hips. So me I used to see myself as I was like really slender, but okay, I never used to care that much. But after getting this body, now I saw the sense of having this body, how it's really nice. People <laughs> people look at your butt and really <laughs> 
Okay, okay, me I love being admired. I won't lie, I love being admired. So if people say, Oh, you have a nice body, I love it. Oh, what did you do to get this body? Oh, your body, oh, your body, oh, your body, I love that. So guys, I've come to the end of my video and I really tried my best to take it throughout my journey and I know most of you have been really trying to gain weight because most of you really DM me like Hey June, how did you add your weight? June, please tell me what you did. June, 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 June. And if you really want to change your weight, um, you can try my way or okay, maybe we have other ways to try because you don't believe my way. Okay, but okay, but for me it worked for me. Eating too much really works for me, and that's all I have to tell you guys. But my main advice, as I said, is just love your body the way it is, and that's all. And if you love my video, give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe and enable your notifications so that if I post another video that you really, really, really want to watch, you may be able to get the notification and watch it. Thank you.